Somebody shout amen. amen. That is not a shouting. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, celebrate the Lord even in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus in the house. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift up your hands to heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word bringeth light. Lord, we ask you that by your power you will reveal yourself. Let your word come with power that bringeth life and bringeth light even unto the simple. We pray that we may decrease and that you alone you may increase. We thank you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate the Lord if you are in the house of God. Come on, celebrate Jesus in the house. I say, celebrate Jesus in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today, I want to talk to you about faith that believes in the power of words. If you came with your Bible, go direct to Luke chapter 7. In verse number 1, the Bible says, Now, when he concluded all his saying, in the hearings of the people, he entered Capernaum and certain centurion servant who was dear to him was sick and ready to die. So when he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him to plead with him to come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they begged him earnestly saying that the one for whom he should do this was deserving. For he loves our nation. And number two, he has built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them and when he had was already not far from the house. The centurion sent friends to him saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself. For I am a man, I am not worthy that you should enter and I'm aloof. Therefore, I did not even think myself worthy to come to you. But say the word. Say the word. And my servant will be healed. For I also am a man pressed under authority. I have soldiers pressed under, under my authority. And I say to one, go and he goes. And to come and to another, come and he cometh. And to my servant, do this and he does it. And when Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him I say to you I have not found such great faith not even in Israel and those who were sent returning to the house they found the servant well who had been sick somebody they shout amen. amen. Come on, I want to hear your bigger amen. amen. I want to talk to you about faith that believes in the power of words. Somebody shout words. The Bible says Jesus yes, has already, the Bible says he had already entered he had already concluded his teaching and then he entered Capernaum. Remember, Jesus was Jesus of Nazareth. But I want to submit to you today that Capernaum was another home of Jesus. It's actually 
and adopted the home of Jesus. Ilikuwa mahali alikuwa amechukuliwa. He moved from Nazareth, alitoka Nazareth, he landed in Capernaum. Akaenda kuishi pale Capernaum. Because that's what your Bible says. Maana hivi ndivyo Biblia inasema. In the book of Matthew 4:13, uh, the Bible says and Jesus leaving Nazareth. Na Yesu akitoka Nazareth, he went akaenda and lived na in Capernaum. Ah uh, pale Capernaum. By the sea. Ah uh, karibu na bahari. It was in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. Pale karibu na Zebulun so na Naphtali. We see Jesus was a Jesus of Nazareth. Tuliona Yesu alikuwa Yesu wa Nazareth. But we see him moving to another city. Lakini ana ana he and the Bible says Biblia sema he lived there akaishi pale somebody shout amen amen come on somebody shout amen and the Bible says when he entered Capernaum wakati aliingia Capernaum there was a certain centurion kulikuwa na akida fulani the Bible says Biblia sema this centurion huyo akida he was a roman officer alikuwa he was a officer a, a centurion is not a name of the city a, 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 a centurion is a commander a leader of a of a of a group ni a kiongozi anayemrisha kundi fulani he was a leader of the smallest legion of roman soldiers alikuwa anaongoza kikundi kidogo cha roman number one, this man huyu mwana huyu was 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 in a hierarchy he was the commander katika kiwango alikuwa commander he actually was responsible alikuwa amesimamia for a rank of soldiers a uh, kiwango fulani cha askari he askan. actually trained soldiers Al- alifunza hata askari he assigned them duties akawapatia kazi and he maintained discipline na akaangalia tabia zao and the bible says bilina sema this centurion huyo akida he was a great soldier alikuwa askari mkuu and i want to see you something here nataka nikuonyeshe kitu hapa the bible says bilina sema he had a servant alikuwa anamtumisha and the bible says bilina sema his servant was sick mtumishi wake alikuwa mgonjwa he was ready to die alikuwa karibu he was actually in a condition alikuwa katika hali that he is about to die aliyokuwa he had suffered for very long alikuwa ameteseka wakati and his suffering has intensified na mateso yake yakaongezeka and the bible says bilina sema his servant huyo mtumishi is very special to the centurion alikuwa wa because the bible says he was dear to him alikuwa mpendwa wake come on somebody shout amen Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Biblia sema, you need to understand something. Unahitaji uelewe kitu. He was so dear to him. Alikuwa anampenda sana. And because he was almost to die. Kwa sababu alikuwa karibu afu. The Bible says he called the elders of the Jews. Akaita wazee wa Wayahudi. Am I talking to somebody? Naongea na mtu. And he assigned them. Na akawapatia kazi. To go to Jesus. Kwenda kwa Yesu. Because he thought by himself. Maana alidhani yeye mwenyewe that he would those elders of the Jews wale 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 wazee wa Yahudi would sway Jesus to come easily wa, to him wataongea Yesu na Yesu aje kwa kiaraka and the bible says bilina sema there is something when they went the Jews elders kuna kitu wakati wa wazee wa they say to Jesus wakaambia Yesu that this man Jesus kwamba huyu mwanaume Yesu number one la kwanza he deserves anastahili to have what we are requesting kupata kile ambacho tunaomba number 1 because he loves this nation maana anapenda taifa number 2 because he had built us a synagogue na alikuwa ametujengea hekalu somebody shout amen amen come on shout hallelujah hallelujah he has loved this nation amependa taifa lake and number 2 la pili he has builded us a synagogue ametujengea hekalu i want to show you something nataka nikuonyeshe kitu this man was a centurion huyu mwanaume alikuwa akida he was a gentile alikuwa mataifa he was a pagan alikuwa haamini mungu but i don't know how it took him lakini sijui ilimchukua na mimi to convince the jews who are kushawishi and the jews wale mataifa na wayahudi they believe that jesus came for them wayahudi waliamini kwamba yesu alikuja kwa ajili yao jesus never came to the gentiles lakini yesu hakuja kwa mataifa in the bible says the bible says in the book of john katika kitabu cha yohana he came to his own alikuja kwa wale wa jesus came to the jews yesu alikuja kwa wayahudi rejected him ni wale wake wakamkaa but all those who accepted him he gave them power to become sons of god somebody shout amen. amen but i want to show you something this man huyu mwanaume was sick of the pagan way of worship alikuwa amechoka na njia za dunia za kuabudu he was interested on god of abraham alitamani sana and jacob and isaac so he was a worshiper of pagan the bible says he had built 
a synagogue for the people. Can I say in the name of Jesus? If God gives you an opportunity to build the house of God, may the Spirit of God quicken you to understand whatever you do for God, you provoke heaven to do something for your life. You miss a place to say amen. I want to say that again and again. Somebody shout amen. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. If you have an opportunity to build a temple for God, to take your money and build the sanctuary, to take your money and facilitate the kingdom, if you can do it, do it, my brother. Somebody shout amen. The Bible says those things that we do in the secret, God will reward us openly. And I want to prophesy to you, if you have ever put your money in the kingdom, in the building of the house of God, a day is coming <laughs> that God will reward you openly. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says they spoke to Jesus. They pleaded earnestly with him. They said this man he deserves what he is asking. Because he loves his nation and he has built a synagogue. In another word, he is worthy of your attention. He is worthy to you to do his request. He is worthy to grant him what he is requesting because of his status. And the Bible says they convinced Jesus that the one you are Helping, he deserves it. He is a good man. He gives back to the community. He loves God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I say something? Our faith, Amen. our salvation is not because of works. But when you receive Jesus, you begin to manifest good works. When you have faith in God, your faith will manifest in good works. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says, Jesus did not say anything. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. He didn't respond. Yes, Number one, why? Because it is not this man who is talking. It's the Jews' elders. They have been sent. Some of the word that they were talking was not the centurion who had said. They had observed the centurion life. They bared the testimony of the centurion. I want to declare in the name of Jesus. We are surrounded by many witnesses. Whatever you do, you are writing a letter. And I want to provoke you today. Do not be weary of doing good. I feel to preach now. Because in the due time, in the season of God, Jehovah will reward you. Give a mighty clap to Jesus. Hallelujah. I say, Jehovah will reward you. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good works. You know, these are Jews. They are not Gentiles. But they are going to Jesus. And there is something they knew. That this Jesus will see what we are talking about. And I want to show you something. Jesus, when he heard this news, is not a testimony of the centurion. It's a, centu it's a testimony of the elders of Jews concerning the centurion. And the Bible says, Jesus took steps. In silence, he never said anything. Because in, I, I believe with all my heart, what they were saying, Jesus himself, when he heard what they said, he wanted himself to go. <laughs> Come on, to go and witness the testimony of other people. Now, watch this. The Bible says, and Jesus went with them. Now, watch this. And before he entered the city, 
kabla aingie kwenye mji actually he never entered the house of the centurion hakuingia kwenye nyumba ya aki but the bible says when he was far away akiwa mbali he stopped in the street akasimama kwenye and there mara. is another team coming na kuna kikundi kingine kinapita the bible says they were sent as messengers na wakatumwa kama uh, they were friends of the centurion walikuwa marafiki wa yule and they came with another message na wakakuja na ujumbe mwingine i declare in the name of jesus natangaza kwa jina la yesu god is about to send somebody mungu kwa tayari kutuma into your life katika maisha to bring a report kuleta ujumbe that will change your entire life you are receiving a message from god today unapokea ujumbe kutoka kwa mungu declare in the name of jesus natangaza kwa jina la yesu these were friends hao walikuwa marafiki of the centurion wa yule aki and they delivered the message na wakapeleka ujumbe but their message was different ujumbe wao ulikuwa tofauti because this message maana huu ujumbe was not the message of the of the friends how ko ujumbe wa marafiki was the message of the centurion himself ulikuwa ujumbe wa yule akida mwenyewe am i talking to somebody this actually is the centurion testimony huyu au ni usuda wa yule akida hallelujah hallelujah can i tell you the truth nikwambie ukweli if there is something you should never silence kama kuna kitu haufai kunyamazisha talk what you believe ongea kile unaamini don't allow devils to silence you usikubali shetani don't allow people usikubalisha watu to say to speak on your behalf waongee kwa niaba yako you know what you carry unajua kile unabeba i don't know what you carry sijui kile unabeba you know what you carry with you unajua kile unabeba you don't need other people's testimony how we tell you should our you need your own testimony unahitaji usuda wako by the way the testimony of the elders Jews usuda wa wazee wa Wayahudi was because of what this man has done for them ilikuwa kwa ajili ya kile huyu mwanamke alikuwa but the centurion testimony lakini usuda wa yule akida was different ulikuwa tofauti now watch this tazama hivi this is what himself said ah even ndivyo alivyosema lord bwana don't trouble yourself usijisumbue i do not deserve sister hili to have you come in my roof wewe kuja kuingia kwangu hallelujah hallelujah that is why i do not even consider myself worthy even to come to you ndio maana sikujidhania na staili kuja kwako i'm not worthy for you to come into my house si staili uje kwangu and i'm not also worthy for you to come to my house na si staili nije i need a name and there amen jairus uh-huh. had asked jesus alikuwa amemwomba yesu to come to his house akuje kwake nyumbani and not only just enter his house na sikuingia kwake tu lay hands on his daughter awekelee binti yake mikono and after laying his hands on his daughter kisha mwekelea binti yake mikono the daughter will be healed aka atapona the faith of the woman ah uh, imani ya mwanamke was in a level ilikuwa kwenye kiwango if i just touch kama tu nitaguza i will be healed nitapona the faith of jairus imani ya jairus was if jesus himself ilikuwa kama yesu mwenyewe come into my house atakuja kwangu and just lay hands on my daughter na wekelea binti yangu mikono my daughter will be healed binti yangu atapona but today Lakin oh my god we are going to the next level of faith we are going to act experience greater faith i pray in the name of jesus that the level of your faith will change in the name of jesus say the coming by hearing and by hearing by the word of god may you hear to be a word that will lay up your standard of your faith come on celebrate jesus in the house i said may your faith rise up imani yako ikainuke Hey, he says Jesus. Yes. Don't trouble yourself. Usijisumbue. There are people God will not trouble they, they will not be troubled. Kuna watu hawatasumbuliwa. Jesus is not going to send angels. Yesu atatuma malaika. He will not come down. Hata kuja chini. He will trust that what you carry. Ataamini kwamba kile unabeba. What he has deposited into your heart. Kile ambaweka ndani yako. Is able to make a way even where there is no way. Inaweza kutengeneza njia mbali. Can I say something Pastor Edwin? Nisema kitu mchoko jeu. Whatever you carry. Chochote unabeba. Is able to make way. Inaweza kutengeneza njia. Where there be no way. Ambapo hapana njia. By your faith. Kwa imani yako. You are able to birth forth a vision. Unaweza kuzaa maono. Oh pastor, you need a helper. Unahitaji watu ku I don't believe that. Siamini hii. Mary was a virgin. Ah, ma, she never knew any man. Hakujua mwanaume. She never knew any man. Hakujua mwanaume. But my Bible says. Biblia inasema. This Mary huyu she ali, was a virgin. Alikuwa bikira. But the Bible says. Lakini Biblia inasema. They say to Mary. Ah, malaika akamwambia. You don't need Joseph. Hauhitaji Yusuf. This time. The Holy Spirit. Ah, uh-huh. will 
overshadow you. Atakujia njuu. Somebody shout overshadow you. And what you will conceive. Na kile ambacho utabeba it will be holy unto god i want to declare in the name of jesus you don't need people's help for you to bath what you carry you need just the power of the holy spirit come on somebody shout hallelujah if you have any vision if you have any prayer if you have any desire what you have what you need is faith ni imani come on shout hallelujah The Bible says he said himself. Akasema mwenyewe. Lord, Bwana, don't trouble yourself. Usijisumbue. Come on. May the Lord give you faith. Mungu akupatie imani. That Jesus will stand on the other side. Kwamba Yesu atasimama upande mwingine. And he will walk over the waters when he is looking. Na atatembea kwenye maji akitazama. You will not need Jesus to come and hold your hand. Hautahitaji Yesu akushika mkono. By your faith. Kwa imani yako. You will walk on impossibility. Utatembea kwenye maji. I came to preach to somebody. Nakuja nihubiria. There is a level of faith. Kuna kiwango cha imani. That Jesus say. Ba Yesu alisema. See. Tazama. My sons. Wana wana. They are doing exploit. My sons are for signs and wonders. Wana wangu ni kwa ajili ya ishara na mjinsi. I declare in the name of Jesus. This 2020. You are going to do exploit for the kingdom. Utatena miujiza na kwa kwa imani. They say, he said. Kasema. Don't trouble yourself. Usijisumbue. Why? Kwa nini? Because I do not deserve. Maana sister hili. To have you come under my roof. Ili ukaje kwangu. That's why I did not even consider myself whether to come to you. Ndio maana sikujidhania na staili kuja kwako. See that, see now. What did the elder said? Hao wazee walisema nini? They said, wakasema, this man huyu mwanaume deserves anastahili. He is worthy. Anastahili. For you to give him what he is asking. Ili uka ukampatie kilo ya nataka. The testimony of the elders of the Jews. Huo ulikuwa ushuhuda wa wazee wa Wayahudi. But what about him? Lakini yeye mwenyewe anasema nini? Akasema, I do not deserve kwamba sister hili that you come to my roof ili ukaje and even me ama mimi i don't deserve sister hili to come to you kuja kwako hallelujah hallelujah can i say something niseme kitu hello he that cometh before god anayekuja mbele ya mungu must believe ataamini i i want to say this again he that cometh to god anayekuja mbele ya mungu lazima aamini that god is kwamba mungu yuko and that god is a reward na kwamba yeye anawazawa kwa wale wanamtafuta number two, la pili god resist the, hum, the, 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 the proud mungu anawakataa walio na kiburi amen but he gives grace to the humble anapatia neema walio nyenyekevu somebody shout hallelujah in another word kwa maneno mengine people talked about this man when he was not there mungu watu waliongea kuhusu huyu mwanaume kama hayupo by the way let me say something acha niseme kitu don't put your concentration on what people are saying usi Usiangalie sana kila watu wanasema. Don't be brought down by people's opinion. Usilete chini na ma- mawazo ya watu. You know who you believe. Unajua unayemwamini. And you are persuaded na umeshawishi that he is able kwamba anaweza to accomplish what he has begun in you. Utenda kile ambacho ameanza. Give a mighty clap to the Lord. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Don't let people's opinion usikubali mawazo ya watu hinder you from delivering what you carry ikuzuie kufanya kile unataka kufanya somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah they said he deserves wakasema kwamba anastahili but him he said i don't deserve yeye mwenyewe akasema hastahili jesus began to see the heart of this man yes wakaanza kuona moyo wa mungu i don't deserve na kwamba akasema kwamba to your roof ni ukuje kwa even you na hata i know you better ninakujua vizuri more than these guys kuliko hawa wa wanaume they are telling you to come to my house wanakuambia ukuje kwangu it because they don't understand who you are ni kwa sababu hawakuelewi this man understood huyo mwanaume alielewa this man who is coming kwamba huyo mwanaume anayekuja is not just jesus sio yesu tu he is emmanuel yeye ni emmanuel akaka muona you cannot give orders to emmanuel hauwezi kumpatia emmanuel am i talking to somebody you understand who you are talking to unaelewa unayeongea na yeye i don't deserve even to stand before you akasema staili hata kusimama you even don't deserve to come from where you are coming to my house how staili hata kuja kutoka kwako uje kwangu but there is something i know about you lakini kuna kitu najua kutoka kwako hallelujah there is a revelation i know about kuna ufunuo ninajua kukuhusu what 
what you just need to do kile unahitaji ufanye because i'm not the way who brought you here maana sio mimi it is the jews because of what i have done to them kwa sababu ya kile that is their testimony hiyo ni ushuhuda wao but according to me lakini kulingana na mimi according to my faith kulingana na imani yangu i can preach today in the name of jesus naweza kuhubiri leo kwa according to my faith kulingana na imani yangu what you need just to do kile unahitaji ufanye is just to speak a word ni kunena neno come on it just to say a word somebody shout say a word come on shout say a word say a word somebody say speak a word 